Hello, MJCA. I want to welcome you to our first virtual and somewhat in-person chapel of the school year. We are so glad to have our sixth and seventh graders here on campus. Just a few roadblocks keeping us all from being together, but that will happen very soon. We are continuing our theme of faith over fear. We have a faith that God is doing wonderful, wonderful things on this campus and that God has a, a, a beautiful future for us and that future is a hope in what Christ is going to do on this campus. As a matter of fact, the future on this campus is so bright, I need to put on my shades. <laughs> so I want to welcome you guys. I want you to just take into consideration what God wants to do for you this year and what God's going to do for our school in this 2020-2021 school year. God bless you. students. My name is Courtney Schmidt. I am the student pastor here at First Baptist and just want to first uh, just let you know that we love you guys. We love you know you as students. We love your staff, teachers, faculty, coaches. We just we love everything about NJCA and we are continually lifting you guys up in prayer in our staff meetings every week and uh, just to let you know I just uh, I appreciate this opportunity to get to to even do this virtually with you 
uh, just excited to share with you and, and uh, just excited to see what God has in store for you over the course of this new school year. I know it's going to be a very awkward uh, it's just uh, none of us have ever been here before. I mean, there's just a lot of a lot of awkwardness, a lot of craziness going on in the world. But the one thing that is constant, and that is God. God is in complete control. Uh, he knew about all of this before it even happened. And just uh, just a challenge for all of us, just to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and just trust him through all of this. And just uh, trust that he is going to, to make some really, really good things come out of all of this. Uh, I was honored to get to speak to the middle school. Uh, during the fall retreat and um, I just wanted to recap a little bit of what I went over uh, with the middle school uh, so that everyone can have a chance to, to hear about it and I love the theme that you had over your retreat and that is faith over fear and if there's ever been a time where you and I need to exercise faith over fear it is right now and what we did uh, during that time was looked at Joshua chapter 1 the first eight verses and to give you just a little bit of context about what was taking place before Joshua chapter 1 um, God had been leading the children of Israel he'd already delivered them out of Egypt he was leading them on toward the promised land and as you know um, they did a lot of things wrong and because of that because of their disobedience to God they wandered in the in the desert for 40 years before they actually got to step foot in the promised land but even during those 40 years God did some incredible things he rose uh, a leader by the name of Moses uh, to lead these people out of Egypt and into the into the promised land but yet Moses didn't get that opportunity it would be passed on to Joshua which is what we're about to look at but Moses was a man that God used greatly. Arguably, he was the greatest leader that any of the Israelites had ever known. This was the same Moses whom God gave the Ten Commandments to, the same Moses that God used to part the Red Sea. I mean, this was an incredible, incredible leader. And it's estimated there were anywhere from five to 600,000 to upward toward maybe two million Israelites whom Moses was leading out. So, as we're about to look, Moses has just died, and then God's about to pass the baton over to a guy named Joshua. Look with me. Joshua chapter 1, the first eight verses. It says, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' aid, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all of these people get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land that I'm giving to them, to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the great river, the Euphrates, all the Hittite country to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey the law of my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the left or to the right, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. And then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Now it's pretty understandable that Joshua and the rest of the Israelites for that matter would be a little fearful. There was a lot of uncertainties, a lot of unknowns before them. I mean, like I said, Moses had been leading them for 40 years. And yet now he's passed away and God is transferring that leadership to the man by the name of Joshua. You know, Joshua probably did not realize the whole time he was under the leadership of Moses that God was actually taking that time to prepare Joshua for this moment and then even beyond this moment. Probably did not have a clue what God was up to. But yet, God was up to something incredible. God had been using Moses to raise up this Joshua to do some incredible things in the life of the Israelites. You know, but they didn't know any of that was taking place. So it's pretty understandable that there would have been some fearfulness, there would have been some hesitancy, and that's why I believe in these first nine verses we see God say three times to be strong and courageous. Because that was a challenge. They had never been there before, just like we've never been in the situation we're in before. And the same 
a challenge, the same command that God gave Joshua and the rest of the Israelites applies to us as well. There's a lot of uncertainties this year, a lot of unknowns. Um, we're going to be uncomfortable in many ways. But yet God's word says, be strong and courageous. But when we think about that, that's so easy to say, but it's so hard to do. So how is it that you and I can actually apply that to our own life? Well, by trusting what God said. He promised Joshua he would never leave nor forsake him, just like he did Moses. And he promised Joshua that as you, as you begin and as you go out and conquer these lands, as you begin to, to go out and claim what is rightfully yours, what I've already promised you, he's like, I will go before you. I'm never going to leave you. I'm never going to forsake you. I'm going to be with you through it all. So guys, just my encouragement for you as you go through this school year, as awkward as it may seem, and as hard as it may get, and as uncertain as it's going to be, man, you have a God who loves you. He's never going to leave you. He's never going to forsake you. And he is not only going with all these things through you, but he's actually going ahead of you. And guys, our part is just to simply trust. Will you trust God that he is going to take care of you? Will you trust God that he has your best interest in mind? Will you trust God with your life completely in his hands? Guys, I hope you do. I pray you do because I really believe with all my heart that even in the midst of all of this that we have been going through over the past several months and as different as this entire school year is going to be, I believe this could actually be one of the greatest years I believe that God can take all these uncertainties and that he can do some incredible things in you and through you for his kingdom and for his glory. So guys, I just want to challenge you. As God commanded Joshua, be strong and courageous. I want to challenge you this year. Be strong and courageous. Be willing to let God use you however he wants to use you, whenever he wants to use you. Just be an empty vessel in the hands of God saying, God, here I am. Just take all that I am, all that I have, and use me for your honor and for your glory. Although it may make me uncomfortable, although it may be scary, God, I want you to use me for your honor and for your glory. And guys, I can promise you, if you could just commit that to the Lord, he is going to be with you. He's going before you. He's going with it through you. He's never going to leave you nor forsake you, just as his word promises. Guys, we are praying that you have a great year this year. Um, we are looking forward to just being on campus and seeing you and just uh, ministering to you. And we're just excited to be able to join you in this year to watch God do some incredible work. Guys, I hope that you have the best year yet.